Wanjo Foods basically is a food processing and packaging company that repackage our indigenous crops across the continent. So currently we're using hibiscus and tamarind and we're looking to explore um, baobab as well. What's unique about Wanjo is the fact that when we take one raw material, we try to see how many different products we can get out of it. So you take the hibiscus for instance, in Ghana it's known as sobolo, right? Um, and so we take that and we've been able to get jam, wine, the drink, vinegar. So that's four different products from one raw material. This is where we keep all our ingredients and um, everything that we need for making all our products. All these are um, picked up. This one is very new so it's still got a lot of um, color on it. And this is tamarind, which came from Burkina Faso. So that's still a stack of it there. For the syrup, we do use sugar, but for the drinks itself, we use um, honey. This is vinegar in the making. We have vinegar in the making right here. We can't open it right now because it's going through the fermentation um, process. And this is our wine. Another thing is, the medicinal properties. We only use ingredients that are high in medicinal properties. Um, the Western world calls them superfoods. Tamarind, for instance, is high in tartaric acid, which has been proven to be uh, a cancer busting agent. Yes, and it's also very good for stomach abscess. And then for the bisab, the hibiscus, it lowers your blood pressure um, because it helps to thin the blood, which helps the blood to flow through. Um, your veins and your arteries. It's um, high in vitamin C, it's high in um, antioxidants, um, potassium, magnesium, iron. So for anemia, those with anemia as well, you can take um, hibiscus. So here what we have, uh, the tamarind drink, which we call um, Samia. It's known on the market as Samia or Timbingo. And then we have the bisab syrup. So we make a syrup out of bisab. You can dilute it like shamima, as people call it. You can dilute it or you can use it for cocktails. You can add other mixes to it. Um, we have the bisab drink, uh, which we call wanjo heat or wanjo wow. Then we have the hibiscus jam, that's bisab jam. Then we have the vinegar, which is made from bisab, tamarind and ginger and other spices. And then we have a wine, it's an alcoholic beverage, it's only 5.7%, so it's an alcoholic beverage. We call it a wine, but FDA says we should call it an alcoholic beverage. We do not add the alcohol to it, it's naturally um, fermented. So those are some of the things that so far we've been able to create. We started in 2013, so a year into the business, we met Indian and we won the tier 2 grant, which was £3,000. And basically it helped us to um, regularize our business so we're able to register as a limited liability we're able to we are now um, with FDA and, and so due to that I believe we're now going to get new clients but at least we're, because we're able to regularize our business as a limited liability instead of a sole proprietor we're able to also win another investment from um, Case Foundation so I think engine helps uh, a lot in that sense. The glass for the whole area of the new site it was um, my engine fund that was able to help me finish that because we finished with the building and then we couldn't we didn't have enough money to do the windows and engine was able to help by giving me that fund so yeah quite happy about that. Here's our stuff known as Wanjo heat, very dark in color. It's not like the rest of the bisap out there. It's dark and it's very thick and it's full of natural goodness. And here is our tamarind drink. It looks a bit like pitu, but it's not pitu. So this is our jam. It's made up from the hibiscus colors. Currently, we're using the dry pellets to make it. And as you can see, it looks rough, but it's delicious on bread, on cookies. This is what our jam looks like. Another interesting aspect of our product, which 
I tend to tell um, clients who complain about how thick it is, is that we make it specially thick because some people prefer it thick, they can drink straight, and some people prefer it light. And because we currently do not have the capacity to um, do the various variants, what I advise my clients who do it, want it light is to take one part of the drink and add water to it. The only thing you get is lightness, but not the taste or the quality. And that's how much you get out of it. And so that's half a jar becoming a full jar. And still taste amazing. And the same with the pizza, which is even thicker than the tamarind. Same thing. So, when it's too thick for you to drink, just dilute it. For those who want it for their children, this might be a little too thick for the taste of most children. So, you buy it, you put some in their container, or their drinking bottles, and you just dilute it for them. For breastfeeding mothers, it helps you lactate better, and your child has all the nutrients that you need passing into the breast milk product. And this is our sub wine. Dark brown clear color. And usually people taste this and they go, it tastes like wine. I'm like, yes, that's because it's wine. What do you mean it tastes like wine? But so far we've had really great reviews with the wine and we've been told we should turn it into our main product. So we're still working on packaging it well so that the Ghanaian market can get it. So if you need us, just give us a call on 020-338-449 and we can supply you for your parties, weddings, funerals, you name it. Thank you.